Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Everybody Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. I am back home after doing my errand. So, girl, we are ready to spill more and more tea. I welcome every single one of you. I hope that you're having an amazing and a beautiful and blessed day. And, uh, girl, if you are new here, well, welcome to the Beverly Troop. Over here, we have a lot of fun. We spill the tea all the time about the Bravo verse, the pop culture street, the Royal Avenue, girl, whatever I got you, okay? So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell because, well, you do no one to miss all the tea that is happening all the time, all right? Okay, guys, before we start the two announcements of the week, because I want you guys to stay winning, the first one is. On my collaboration with Bros Forever, we are doing our first giveaway ever, okay? So it's super easy. You just have to go to my Instagram. The official rules of the game are in there. Uh, but it's very easy, okay? Go to my Instagram, realandybh. Look for the post, and you just have to follow me and Rose Forever on Instagram. Of course, be subscribed to my YouTube channel and tag two more people on the comments on the official post. OK, the winner will be choose on December 20th and you can play from anywhere around the world. All right, guys, the second announcement and because we are on the holidays and if you are looking for the perfect gift out there for a fellow Bravo holic or a fellow Bra uh, Beverly Trooper, now you can book a personalized message from me to them. Okay, so if you want to send a uh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, wherever you want to, now you can do it. You know, I will send a message for you. Okay, the link is on the description below to my cameo. It's a great way to support my channel and you get something amazing in return. All right, guys, so let's talk about this um, mess because we need to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And things are happening over there because Kathy Hilton, you know, she is doing her holiday parties left and right. You know, they are all amazing. They are all great. And, you know, there is always tea to spill when it comes to those parties. Now, on her latest party, it was very intimate. It was very about, like, family, you know, and very close friends. So for this one, I mean, we saw a lot of people from Paris Hilton to Nikki Hilton to Tiffany Haddish, uh, Garcelle Boy Bay was there. I mean, there was a lot of people, you know, but it was very intimate. And everyone is losing their minds over one specific picture from that day. OK, well, Kathy Hilton has taken a picture in front of her beautiful, beautiful Christmas tree, which, by the way, it's amazing, you know, like. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, you know, like this is insane. Like it looked good in pictures, but in person, it's so like beautiful. But anyways, the point is they took a picture in front of the very, very famous Christmas tree. And it was her, Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade. Mm -hmm. So Morgan snatched an invitation to the very, very cozy and intimate holiday party. Now, people are saying that this is a big deal. Okay, people are saying that this is the official introduction of Morgan Wade into the family. Look, I have no idea, no idea what is happening between Carl Richards and Morgan Wade. Carl Richards doesn't give me lesbian vibes at all, okay? Uh, but Kathy has said, uh, she actually said on in an interview, like a couple, like some days ago that Morgan has been a great influence into Kyle's life and that she is a very, very good friend that she has hang out with Morgan before, you know, and that she is a very lovable and great friend to Kyle. Okay. Now, people are saying that this is a stamp of approval. You know, Kathy Hilton being the matriarch of the family, basically saying like, yes, you belong to the family now. You are, you know, a Richard, well, a Hilton. I have no idea. Well, 
you are part of the family, you know, like, like she is like making it like, you know, um, I don't know what to tell you guys. Look, I feel that there, there are people that are in your life for a very long time and they might have been very great friends, but they can become strangers very fast. And there are strangers who come to your life and can become very good friends or even best friends very fast as well, you know? So, I mean, I, for once, I still, I don't know, I still, I don't believe that Kyle is a lesbian and I do not believe that Kyle is on a relationship with Morgan Wade. It just doesn't, like, enter my mind. I just don't feel that it is what is going on. What I feel is that Morgan is giving that reassurance to Kyle that she needs right now in this period of her life, that she is transitioning to a different chapter of her life, you know, by being sober and like into fitness and all of that, you know, and I think that's why Kyle is um, having her, you know, so close. I do, I mean, I don't know, you know, I think the only thing that we can tell about this picture with Kathy and the two of them is basically Kathy saying like, look, first of all, I have a great relationship with my sister. And second of all, I do not have a problem with Morgan Wade and she is a great friend of the family. I think that's the only thing that we can say about that picture. Another picture that was very interesting, it was um, Sutton Strzok. She was invited also to this very cozy, intimate tour. And this is important because there was a lot of talk, especially after last episode, saying that Sutton was in a lot of trouble with Kathy Hilton, that how could she disclose that like personal call, you know, and basically call out um, Kathy Hilton that way and that they were going to be fighting and that, you know, Sutton's, you know, way on the, uh, as a socialite in Beret Hills was going to be over, you know, and, like all of that. And basically this is Kathy is nipping that in the bud, you know, and saying like, no, no, no. Actually, Sutton is a great friend of mine and we do not have any problems. Okay, we are great. We are great friends. And I think this really proved it, okay, because not a lot of people were invited to that specific party. You know, like I said, it was very just, very close friends and family. And the fact that Garcelle and, um, and uh, Garcelle, Crystal, and Sutton were part of that party, it really tells a lot of that friendship, you know. And how it's uh, happening. So, well, that's the tea of what is going on right now. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below with this whole Kyle and Morgan situation. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real House of Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.